This week we're talking about BitLocker, how to unlock it, what it requires, and what you can do with it, and some of the considerations that you should look at when capturing a system using BitLocker. Welcome to this week's episode of Feature Focus. I'm Justin Tolman here at Xtero, and this week, like I said, we're talking about BitLocker and how you can load data that is encrypted using Microsoft's BitLocker solution. So first we're gonna start off with a quick discussion on the different ways that you can capture BitLocker drives. We're actually going to start first with logical. When coming across the BitLocker drive, if you do not know the password, but the system is logged in and on, you should do a logical capture. And what this does is imagers going to use the Windows system as it is, which means you can capture the files from a Windows system into a forensic image, and it's going to be piped through the Windows system, decrypting the information as it comes out. So your image will contain the files decrypted into the image. Okay, this is a logical image, so you're typically not going to get the unallocated space on the disk because, you know, it's a logical image. The other way you can capture is, of course, physical. You're doing a dead box physical image of a BitLocker drive. This will require either you brute force decrypt it using something like Password Recovery Toolkit, or in many enterprise environments, of course, you will have either a recovery key or a password. In this case, you can simply load that BitLocker image into FTK, and FTK will prompt you for either the recovery key or the password. And that's what we're gonna show here in this video. All right, so let's jump into FTK and take a look. We have our database management or case management window open here. We're going to create a new case. We've created a physical image of a BitLocker drive. So let's show how that goes. It's pretty straightforward. We'll go to case and new, and we'll give it a, a case name, FTK uh, feature focus there. And for this, we're gonna do field mode. Processing what's inside of it functions exactly the same as a non bitlockered image. So we're just gonna turn everything off to walk through the process here. All right, so we'll turn everything off with field mode and we'll click okay. Once our case has been created and the interface is open, we'll go up to evidence and add remove. Just to note that if you have FTK enterprise, the manage evidence window will not automatically open. If you're using uh, vanilla or base FTK, you know that when you create a case, the manage evidence automatically opens. This is on purpose in enterprise as you may be using agent collection or connector collections in that. And so we don't pop open a window automatically. So evidence add remove, and we're going to add our acquired image that's been bit locker or captured of a bit locker drive. And we'll select our image. And notice that the bit locker encryption credentials screen pops right up. FTK detects, hey, wait, I detect BitLocker, you are going to need to either put in a recovery key or the user password. So in this case, we I have the recovery key in a file, I could copy that in out of the text file, or we could do a user password and I'll type that in if I can remember what it is, I think it's that, and then we'll click okay. It takes it, remember we did field mode, so we don't have any uh, refinement options or anything like that, we'll click okay, and it will bring that image in, uh, with whatever options that you had. Okay, 10 seconds later, we have our stuff, so we'll close that. And we can see the image is in here. We'll expand partition, a bit locked file system. We can see the root here. If I select the root, our files populate. And just as some dummy data, we have uh, two PowerPoint presentations um, and a notepad file that says you opened a BitLocker drive. It's as simple as that, bringing it in, giving the password. Now the way FTK does this is using Windows system to run your files through Windows decryption for BitLocker. Okay, so one consideration you need to have in this case is when you are going to analyze a BitLockered image or an image of a BitLocker drive, right? You need to be running a Windows version that's either the same or newer than the one that it, the drive was BitLockered on. If your examination machine is older than the computer that BitLockered the drive that you have, then there's a possibility that Windows will not be able to run 
the decryption process if Microsoft has adjusted, changed, updated, whatever, the BitLocker algorithm that it was using in the newer version. If you don't want to hassle with it or you want to create a new image that's no longer BitLockered, you can always export the contents out of FTK into a new forensic image and it will create that new image with all the files decrypted. To create the image of the decrypted files, we'll come up here to our image and we're going to right click on acquire to disk image. This opens up the image creation dialog box. So we're gonna hit add. And we have our destination set as our desktop in this case. Probably wanna send it somewhere a little better than that. We have raw DD selected, but you could do smart E01 or AFF. We'll give it a name of bitlocker VHD underscore D2 uh, for decrypted and we'll hit okay. And then we'll make sure verify images uh, is selected and we'll hit start. So that's going to run through. It's a super tiny image. And we'll close that. We'll minimize this. We'll open up FTK Imager to just show um, how, it's, how it's working. So we're going to add an image file. We'll click next and browse. And we're on our desktop already. Good. And we'll grab our image. Click open and finish. And then if we expand this out, we see BitLockered this, and we select root, and we see our PowerPoint presentations and our text. So in that way, you could take a BitLockered image, put it into FTK, give it the decryption, and then export it out to a non-encrypted non image and deliver it to whoever you want. If you don't want to give out that key, don't want to give out that password, or just want a decrypted image file. Okay, so hopefully that covers most of the basics with handling BitLocker within FTK. If you have any questions, go ahead, drop them below, reach out to us on social media, happy to help in any way we can. And again, thanks for watching.